Little child prostitution caused by hunger and poverty. Little primary school girls as young as 15, 14 even as little as young as 9, 10, 11 are roaming the dusty highways looking for a cheap buck. Please click like and subscribe. I'm Fuad Rahman. I'm a journalist and author from Cape Town, South Africa. I decided to release this video clip on underage human sex trafficking in order to highlight and expose the inhumanity and exploitation of children forcibly used in the sex trade. In an impoverished, dusty township known as Bishop Lavis, a man from a European country flies down to Cape Town every year to entice little girls as young as 10 years old and younger, a Metro police woman said. The police woman added, the European pimp uses the little girls to shoot X-rated dirty movies. He pays a local woman cheap money to bring the underage girls to his car. He also pays the girls with sunglasses, watches, sweets, clothing items and some cash. The policewoman said several parents do not mind because they too benefit with the little cash their small daughters generate. The policewoman admitted they were unable to nail the European man. She further said, colored underage girls are now hot property in the X-rated film industry because they are considered better than Brazilian girls. In Cape Town, it is mostly African foreign nationals who come into South Africa as refugees, who earn a somewhat lucrative income by prostituting especially underage girls. Sex workers in Cape Town has a trade union called Pink Lady. One of the office bearers at Pink Lady said, we protect the rights of sex workers. She divulged sex workers also get missing and they have a tremendous struggle to educate sex workers about fatal sexual diseases. In most cases the youngsters prostitute their frail bodies with the blessings of their mothers. Some parents even groom their small kids for the streets. Prostitution is legal in South Africa. In 1994 during the country's first democratic elections, the Anti-Apartheid Liberation Organization, the ANC, or African National Congress used in their election campaigning in the Cape Town poverty strike in townships that legalizing prostitution would create work in the townships. This is what now deceased Professor Kader Ismail said in the largest township known as Mitchell's Plain. More than a million reside here. Unemployment here is as high as 47%. Consequently, once the ANC got into power, they outlawed the term prostitution and legally employment the word, sex worker. Journalists are not allowed to use the term prostitution any longer, but the glorified word, sex worker. It appears the South African government turns a blind eye to child prostitution. In one situation an Afrikaner white advanced age building construction owner was caught by the vice squad and metro police with a 13-year-old underage colored girl who sat in front of his van while he drove. Her panty laid on the seat. The man was fined. In one incident in Milnerton, a 15-year-old girl from the poor farm area in Worcester asked the police for help. Her pimp, a Congolese, who stood next to the girl was immediately arrested. However, the court will set him free again, the cops admitted. The girl said the man forces her each time. She said she is the only girl working for him. She ran away every time. The pimp would then take a train to Worcester and hand a bottle of wine to the father and then he forcibly brings her back to his rented house. In another case in Ear St. River the city police took a 12-year-old girl off the streets and took her home. The youngster's face was painted with lipstick and face makeup. She wore a very short skirt over her frail body. When the cops brought the little child inside her home, a council matchbox dwelling, the mother was extremely furious and yelling her child works on the street to bring in money for food. In another township in Worcester 60 kilometers outside Cape Town, a social worker divulged the mothers bring adult men to make babies with their young 9, 10, and 11-year-old daughters so that the rest of the family can live on the illegitimate baby's social grant. Most pimps are the scores of African refugees in the country. They operate all over the country. Cape Town, Durban, Johannesburg, and a few other cities are the main territories of operation. These African refugee pimps hit where poverty is rife. One 16-year-old girl on the streets in Milner Town, near the city of Cape Town ran to the police for help. 
her Congolese pimp had stood stood next to her. They were waiting for a willing driver to pick her up. The girl gave her mother's phone number. The girl's mother was a medical doctor. The girl said she was lured to a nightclub in Durban by a seemingly nice woman, another major city where she lived. The next thing she remembered was she awoke in a strange house hundreds of kilometers away from her home. The refugees from Congo kept her drugged. The pimp admitted to the police that human sex trafficking was rife among the refugees in South Africa and that there is a constant exchange of underage girls for the sex trade between the various cities. We transport these young girls away from their home cities to other cities so they can work for us. The pimp, like most other pimps got fined, arrested, and taken to court, where they will be freed immediately by the order of the judge. Several pimps declared they would not be able to get away with it in their own African countries. These African refugees operate mostly along Trekker Road from Woodstock, which is almost in town up till Belleville some with 30 kilometers from the city of Cape Town. In Belleville, a Nigerian refugee was arrested for human sex trafficking. The vice squad chief divulged, several of the young girls are now on AIDS retroviral, not because of local men, but largely due to the foreign Afrian refugees who let all their buddies have sex with the child sex worker to make them feel worthless. The police chief confided, the refugee pimps live from the prostitution money the youngsters generate. The vice squad chief said further, the refugees rent a nice apartment in a nice area where up to 50 young girls live. One girl said she is from the poverty-ravaged township and the refugees offer her a better life. But this 15-year-old was infected with the AIDS virus as well bows all the different foreigners had sex with her as if it was normal. He yelled out very loud, I got my right.